I'd like to read you a section of my book, Scriptural Solutions 2, on uselessness. I've been around some elderly folks. We're in Florida, and I'm, uh, you know, there's a lot of retired people down here. And some of them, I can sense a feeling of uselessness. One of the saddest definitions I've ever read is the definition of useless. Having no use, unserviceable, producing no good end, answering no valuable purpose, not advancing the end proposed as a useless garment, useless pity. I cannot imagine living life feeling completely useless. Perhaps today you feel useless because you're incapacitated, having health issues, or simply feel like nobody asked you to do anything. Do you feel useless today because you seem to lack certain abilities or capabilities? You tried to help with a project and ended up breaking something important. Perhaps you attended a ladies' sewing group and ended up tearing out more than you sewed. Because you cannot seem to be a help to anyone, you feel completely useless. Perhaps you feel useless because you cannot do what you once could. I have seen many people who base their self-worth on what they can do and not who they are in Christ. I am thinking of a dear lady who all her life was able to do nearly anything she put her mind to. When she got up in years, arthritis took away her ability to work and accomplish. She began fe dealing with her feelings of uselessness by fighting them, not surrendering to them. Because she beautifully accepted her lot in life, she found others still wanted her not to be a worker, but to be there for a camaraderie. Though she was uncomfortable at first, she gradually accepted what God had for her. The person who feels useless often develops a sour disposition. What the person needs to realize is that she can be useful. She simply has to change her methods. Instead of being helpful with your work, you can be helpful with your words. Mrs. Evans used to say, everybody has a story to tell, but so few people will take the time to listen to their stories. You can become the builder of the group by listening. You can go up to folks at church and be a good listener, letting them talk about their week. You can go to a lady who is older and ask her to tell her favorite memory about her children. You will be very useful because of how you are making others feel. I have found that my main lot in life is not what I do physically, but how I make those around me feel. Everyone has the power to make others feel loved. So go out, do something for others, and get your thoughts off of yourself. Please remember the following verses when you, feel, when you face feelings of uselessness. Isaiah 42, 1, Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Psalm 30, 73, 26, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Job 13, 5, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. Lamentations 3, 24, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Proverbs 27, 9, ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. These are great verses that encourage us and tell us that we don't have to feel useless. We can be strong and we can realize a, we have something that we can do for others no matter what our abilities are. So get out there. If you're feeling useless today, find somebody else to encourage. And you know what? You'll forget how useless you feel. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.